to me uh, and looking at the work he did and he, he used to work uh, at the steel mill and so did my brothers but then we put it on layers of clothes mm -hmm. to go to work and uh, me on the other hand my friends would love to play in the snow. I didn't want to play in the snow. I didn't, I, when it was cold, I wanted nothing to do with it. So he used to tell me flat out, he said, James, I don't think that you have the wherewithal to do the work that I do and your brothers do. Hey, gang focus on education because, you know, the jobs inside the office and out of the environment was sort of outside of the normal realm for black folk, particularly black men that came. So I, that sort of hit a chord to me. I couldn't imagine with a a wrench or, or hammer in my hand and banging on a piece of metal when it was cold outside. And, but yet, I fully understand somewhere you're going to have to support yourself and your family. And if it wasn't that, then what else? So he, he tied it all up in a box and put a bow on it. This is education. That's going to get you outside of that realm of, oh, one day he came home and he, he said, look, I want you to come with me. I want to show you something. So he got in the car and he took me a couple blocks. I said, you know what this machine is there? He said, no, what is, that's a ditch digger. Hmm. And that little thing, that arm that scoops up, they had just started to come out by then. He said, we always used to say that if you can't do anything, you can be a ditch digger. Now, you can't even be, you can't even be a ditch digger because <laughs> somebody's sitting up there in that little cab there and he got that arm that reaches down and said that, that's, that opportunity is gone. So he had a way of uh, uh, driving the message home. Thank you so very much, and um, we look forward to celebrating um, you and um, our black history. And we are so honored that you have paved the way for so many to do uh, some of the things, maybe not all, but some of the things that you've done. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor. God bless you. My pleasure. Amen. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, that was great. <laughs> Amen. That was great, man. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Would like you to take a look at those products that they put together for me. Okay. Now, uh, Benny, you've been downstairs, haven't you? It's been a while, though. Yeah, but let me. I'll just show you what I want you to do. Okay. Let me grab my candy. It's, it's really very simple. Okay, and I'll just tell me what we're doing so I can grab some pictures of the trophies and plaques. And, okay. And uh, first, just let me show you. Ah, that's your father. Praise God. Strong man. Praise God. Oh, right there. Yeah. Okay. yeah. He look like he don't take those stuff. No, no. <laughs> he's fine. You know, he passed Just away. Like he passed away in 59. I thought that was old. Yeah. Yeah, I was 19, but he passed away in 59. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So, he, he never got a chance to find out that you were B. I'm pretty sure he knows. Amen. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he knows. Uh -huh.
congregation to see. I want them to see. I gotta unplug this light. Let me. See what we're talking about. <laughs> you see it, Freddy? No, 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 don't come. Out. He'll find it. We'll find it. We'll find it. Oh, I see it. We see it, yes. Wow. Yep, we got it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. That's <laughs> it. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, that is that's so neat. White. That is so neat. Wow. <laughs>